I just have to get, I just have to get up. Get in close, get in close. I have to look at this face. Wow. <laughs> Ooh. It's the f Joker grapes for me, bitch. She's it's like a, the Joker grapes. She's like a California raisin. <laughs> It's Do you remember the California Raisin? Do I remember? Of course. I mean, you know what? The longer I look at it, the more I'm like, is she my favorite? She's the winner. <laughs> like, honestly. You definitely, she got our attention. I like it. I, 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 I'm interested. Hi, it's Trixie Mattel. Welcome back to The Pit Stop, the show where we recap RuPaul's Drag Race, and we are on season 16, which means there is a whole new crop of queens, as well as a returning favorite host to The Pit Stop. And today, our guest uh, commentarian here on The Pit Stop is none other than the winner of All Stars 8, all the way from Canada. We have Jimbo in the studio today. Wow. And the crowd goes mild. No one in here can bother you. How does it feel? Oh, I feel empty. I feel alone. No, I feel great. I feel so excited. I'm the winner. I've joined you in the Imaginary Hall of Fame. Woo! Yes! It's not totally imaginary because they do have it at DragCon. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Right? <laughs> Although they, they have it at DragCon, but then there'll be a portrait where you can do a photo op. And I will say, you know how the, like the Marines and stuff say like stolen valor, don't mm. wear don't wear camouflage. Yeah. When I see people taking pictures in the Imaginary Hall of Fame, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Did you alienate twelve other crossdressers to get that crown? You know what I mean? I don't think so. Did you earn that? No. No. Is this your first pit stop? This is. It's so exciting. When do we fix the cars and stuff? Well, we don't do any like real manual labor, but okay. we are gonna sit here and give our undiluted snap judgments to crossdressers oh. from all over the United States. Fun. I guess while well, I do have bullet points here, but sometimes they're shady. And when they are shady, I like to remind people that it's written on the card and I didn't write the question. It's not your fault. So when it's written like, why do you think she's such a bitch? I'm just doing my it's job. It's on the card, you're just reading. So today we are joined by our reigning all-star, the one and only Jimbo. Hooray! They can add applause. Okay. The one and only Jimbo. Hooray! Hi Jimbo, Happy New Year. How are you? Happy New Year! I am so good, I'm so excited. I am just taking a break from polishing my crown and scepter and counting all my coins. And you won $200,000. <laughs> I did, yes. Canadian or American dollars? American. Is that better? Or worse? It's a lot better. It it's is. Like about one and a half. Okay, wow. You know about taxes, right? Somebody told you about taxes yet? Yeah, yeah. Rue has said it many times, do your taxes, and that, that resonated. So um, someone is somewhere is doing my taxes. Pay your taxes, people. <laughs> pay someone to do your taxes. <laughs> I didn't pay taxes at my condo in Milwaukee for two years, and the city of Milwaukee repossessed my condo, and I had to fly there and go to like court. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. And did you win? I had to go in and drag and do like a <laughs> runway. And then at the city of Milwaukee was like, what would you say to little Brian? And was, <laughs> wow. And was uh, Bianca the judge, Judy? <laughs> she was until I took her job once again. Oopsie. First of all, big congrats to you for winning All Stars 8. What was that feeling like? That was so surreal. Obviously, you know, you never know what's gonna happen. It could go either way. I felt really strong going into the finale with four wins and, um, but you know, Candy is one of RuPaul's favorites. So uh, she may have let Candy win, but I'm so glad it was me. Were you mentally prepared for a scenario where Candy wins? If I didn't win, I was going to destroy the whole room that we were filming in. Can I tell you something maybe you don't relate to, but I remember the moments before RuPaul said, I won All Stars. Mm. I remember like it was like freeze frame and I remember thinking, enjoy these last few seconds where you might win. Because if you don't, this will be the last time you might win. Right. You may just throw yourself off a building. Did you cry? I did, I wept, I, I hyperventilated. I felt like I was gonna have a panic attack in those moments where it was happening and I felt like this is the moment, like it's either gonna happen or it's not. I felt like I was gonna pass right out. You fought for it and you. you got that little trophy and you, 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 Thank you. Well, I love drag and I love RuPaul's Drag Race, so it was, you know, my dream come true. Are you gonna let your love for drag get in the way of you ruthlessly critiquing these whores? <laughs> I, I I hope so. I, <laughs> I hope. You know, you know, people say I'm not here to make friends. Right. Come on the pit stop where we alienate all the new queens, and right. then in five years when you run into me at a pride, they're like, right. "Nice to meet you." Anyway, I remember you didn't you like said. my pillbox hat six years ago. <laughs> they, they do remember what we say on this show. I know, I know. I I was a judge on Canada's Drag Race. I sent home Chaos, and when I saw Chaos at DragCon for the first time, they were holding a photo, actually, 
of the look. And they were like, hey, Jimbo, snap. And they <laughs> crushed this glass photo frame. I was like, oh my God. So I know. They were like, oh, uh, I'll clean that up later. I was like, sorry. <laughs> I guess they were a bit triggered. Sorry. It was sorry. Canada, so everyone just kept saying I'm sorry. Everyone kept saying sorry about it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So you did an All Stars look inspired by me. I was I so did! flattered. Oh my God, yes, that's right. I wore that face keeny with the pearl smile, just I, like your pearly smile. Oh, thank you. I just, when somebody's like, somebody did a look based on you, I'm always like, here comes the white eyeliner, here comes, and I was so like, oh, it really isn't me. It's just the, the colors of. Uh-huh. It was really cool. Yeah, and I had you in mind, like with the silhouette, and like the whole, you were totally in there, in my mind. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you were inside me. Not for the first time either. <laughs> All five inches. Five inches? <laughs> I'm talking with the heel. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> you posted the pit stop for your, wait. I did? No. I hosted the pit stop for your original season. Yes. From home. It was my first remote pit stop. <laughs> that season was amazing. Thank you. Do you feel was, proud of it? I do. It was a real roller coaster at the time. Do you ever want to confront Brooklyn Heights on tour? I do every day. You do. <laughs> but you know, now she says you ought to thank me because if she had let me win then, I wouldn't be a 200,000 heir from Drag Race All-Stars. $200,000 is a lot of money. Yeah. I'm a 200,000 heir now. <laughs> That's a lot of money. And I know that's only changed to you. <laughs> when did everyone, I don't know when I became the Bill Gates. Mama Rue, she said, she went on TV, she said, Trixie's rich. We all seen the AD tour, bitch. We okay. Just, and I've been there myself for breakfast. So. You went to a Paul's house for breakfast? Yeah, we had Tic Tac. Well, f the cards. <laughs> did you really go to her house? Oh, no. oh. No. sorry. Back to the cards. <laughs> now, before we get into this, what do you remember about walking into the workroom for the first time? Walking in the workroom for the first time, I remember I just wanted to take it all in. I didn't think about what I was going to say ahead of time. I wanted to really be inspired in the moment. That's my clown side of me, and I walked in and I went, oh, oh wow, oh my gosh. <laughs> that was, I think the word is arresting. Uh -huh. As a viewer, it was like a screeching halt. <laughs> We're used to like drag queens doing what they think drag queens do when you walk into drag race. Right. And so what you did was stupider, but also more organic because right. when you walk in there, you do go like, oh. Whoa. Yeah. It gets very real. It's very real. And I find sometimes when you hear the little poem that they've made up, sometimes it feels so manufactured and stilted, the little, I'm so-and-so, I'm Munch the poem. munch and crunch the crunch. It just sometimes Today's feels so- lunch is brunch. Yeah, it like... feels like they've said that so many times. So that's why I like when it has a feeling of spontaneity. And the other girl's best case scenario, they look over at you like, <laughs> yeah, they were all like, what the f Yeah, because <laughs> either you're <laughs> ugly to them and they're like, ew, or you're pretty and they're like, f her. You, you described me as a dad in a wig. <laughs> you're like, Did here I? we go. You're like, yeah, but I liked it. That doesn't sound like me. <laughs> Moving right along. Okay. <laughs> Shall we? Should we get into the new season, Miss Jimbo? <laughs> Let's do it. But wait first, am I still a dad in a wig? No, you're a mom in a wig. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> or like, you know, uh, like, um, how they call older people blue haired? Okay. Maybe you're entering blue haired drag. Oh, I, see, I was trying to look younger. <laughs> I love this color hair on you. Thank you. Uh, I love this on you. Have you? This is new for you, isn't it? I don't know what this is. This came from the back of the closet. <laughs> but you know, everything old can be made new once again. Well, it's gorgeous. Thank you. It don't look all too semen, <laughs> right? That's styling. If you get close to it, I think it's currently in the shape of the cardboard box it was in. <laughs> it's like a Lego right now. <laughs> don't look at it. I think there's a bird in the back. Totally. <laughs> Let's get started with the entrance looks. I want to know your thoughts on some of these looks. Now, we are learning the names. The first episode of Pit yeah. Stop is the hardest because these are all new names. Right. So, this person's name is Q. Ooh. What do you think of the look? Well, I think it's cute. Okay. And that's the Pit Stop. I think we all had a great time. As far as entrance looks, this whore looks incredible. She looks amazing. Like. This is amazing. It's beautiful. I love the feathers. I love the proportion. I love her little legs, everything. She looks amazing. The yeah. little hair. Ooh. And what's in her hand there? Is that like a little doll or? I think that's a gun. It's a gun! Yeah. <laughs> but Q looks amazing. Q looks great. Next. All right, this is Tsunami Muse. Tsunami. Oh, I see. That's kind of like a wave of water. Maybe that's the inspiration that she's kind of the water rushing in. Or rushing out. I would rush out. I'm gonna say, 
I want to be vulnerable here on the pit stop. It's giving men's outfit at d uh, dinner theater. <gasps> yes. Because you know the outfit's chopped because when she walked in, I went, oh my God, her face. She's Ooh, so beautiful. So gorgeous. I wanted to like, um, Sega Genesis, like swipe left and change her outfit. Like, right. Yeah. Or like like a doll, pull the I hat off and put the on pants. Else. I want to change those pants for sure. Yeah, she really went down to Talbot's. I love this powder blue on her. Yeah. I just, it's the pantalones for me. The pantalones. It's not my fave. All right, up next we have. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We have a mandatory meeting. Now, this name. Mama. Let's just. This name. Let's just, I know that we're, it's too early to give out awards. For the name alone. Amanda, and it's Tori? Tori. Meeting. Meeting. Wow. I love that. It's one of those names where it makes me laugh, but it makes me angry. Ah. It's such a good pun that it makes right. me, it makes me like, want to grab her by the throat and be like, who thought of this? <laughs> who put you up to this? I'm going to let you take the lead on the look. I'm going to throw you well, to the wolves here. <laughs> Well, I, you know, she's got her titty plate on, so she's repping, repping for the titty plate girls. It's a little loose in the neck. And, uh, a little. You know, it, it was baggy. But, you know, she has some titties. I, I guess a mandatory meeting, I'm thinking office, I'm thinking, and so I'm getting, is she, she's the office prostitute. You know, with the name a mandatory meeting, I'm surprised she didn't do like a corporate yeah. look. Yeah. I yeah. would have liked that. Do you think that she has some connections with Karen from finance. See, that made me wonder because the two of them could start a really cute small business. <laughs> totally. I take the bell issue <laughs> with some of the makeup artistry presented oh. <laughs> at the gig today. And I don't care. Listen, I'm being vulnerable. I'm being honest. I, I know, I know that she is a homosexual. We'll watch yes. that and she'll go, ooh, I went a little hard on that. Right. Or not hard enough. You know, what we know the first day it's 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 scary. What you learn a lot from seeing yourself on TV. Uh -huh. A lot. Again, you have Jimbo and Trixie talking about your makeup on <laughs> Right. So like, <laughs> take it with a grain exactly. of salt. Exactly. Take it with a grain of salt. All right. Up next, Ooh. we have Morphine Love Dion. Wow. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Another three names. I kind of would just go with Morphine if I was her. It's a great. It's name. yeah. Shorten it up. I think this look is really cute. I I would wear this to meet my boyfriend's family, maybe. You know what I mean? Just looking cute and going for a nice picnic. Yeah, I know that we're mostly critiquing outfits. Okay. The face. The face. What a face. A my doll. God. A doll. An absolute beautiful doll. Nothing gets me together. Like a face like that. Like a beautiful young Ooh. girl tiptoeing into the workroom and just going, ah, hey, I'm like, here. Ooh. She's a little ingenue. Out of drag, she looks like the um, senior retail manager at a Mac counter. Yeah. It's really amazing. She's amazing. And so what about the outfit? Would you wear this? Um, I wouldn't wear this. I wouldn't wear this, um, personally. But you know what's great about entrance looks on Drag Race? On one hand, the judges aren't judging them. Mm. On the other hand, we the first are. impression. Yeah. We're judging the first impression. Yeah. It's a little pedestrian. And the girls judge each other based on it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I remember when Katya walked in on season seven, she's like this red, like like Russian prostitute mm -hmm. outfit. And I remember thinking, ugh, filler. And, <laughs> I was and right. you were right, yeah. <laughs> I was right. All right, so we have Safira Crystal. Crystal? Wow. Safira Crystal. Safira Crystal. The gay person wow. hoped it was Crystal. Crystal. <gasps> Safira Crystal. Yes, darling. Oh. <laughs> now, every time we say her name, we do have We have to spin. Yeah. So once again, <laughs> Sophia Crystal. Sophia Crystal. What Ooh. an outfit. The wow. color. The, the beautiful. Hair. The construction. What a cool look. It's kind of um, Carnival Festival. It's yeah. kind of. A bit uh, Alexander McQueen. Yeah, yeah. And you could perform in it. Like, I would believe this is something she actually could work in. Yeah. She looks great. She looks expensive. She looks like a threat, darling. Yeah. No, no, no. It's, all right. Next. <gasps> Mirage. Yes, Mirage. Ooh. Love the name. What does Mirage mean? So it's like in the desert when sometimes the really, really hot air makes it look like there's water on the horizon. Oh. But the closer you get, it disappears. Oh, so do you think that we're going to get that from her? 
<laughs> I don't know what we're gonna get from her because she does go on to tell us that her booty is quote unquote juicy. Right. And the lie detector test determined that that was a lie. So that's the mirage. Her booty is the mirage. <laughs> yeah. Someone lied to her several times. Yes, because she also says my titties are fat and juicy. I think that's the mirage too. So those, those are pretty big boobs for her frame, don't you think? I don't like. I, I guess you're not the one to ask. Yeah. <laughs> you're like one of those women who's like has boobs. This you ever yes. seen a clip of that girl with the uh -huh. boobs like this playing the piano? Yes, That's Allegra you. Cole. Yeah. <laughs> not you knowing her name. Yes. Of course I know her. <laughs> she looks great. I love the multicolor look. To me, this is like she's trolling a little bit. It's a little bit like uh, yeah. She is a, trolling. It's a spin on mall wear. In a it way. is. Yeah. She knows what she's doing. And finally. <laughs> Dawn. Ooh, love the name. Yes, Dawn. up till Dawn. Dawn, just a girl named Dawn. Yeah, just Dawn, just Dawny. Do you have any friends named Dawn? I'm not a single <laughs> person because <laughs> that name is so like intensely normcore mm. that I don't know anyone named Dawn. Right, I know one Dawn and she's absolutely lovely. Dawny, she's always Dawn. going through her purse. <laughs> love the makeup. Beautiful. Do you think you maybe inspired her a little bit with this anime style eye? I think she probably looked at what I did and said, let me make it look good. <laughs> um, she looks so good. When drag queens like are dressed like this, my mind goes straight to, she must be 80 pounds. Right. She's yeah. gotta be four feet tall and 80 pounds. She's a stick figure. Yeah. She kind of keeps Elf on a shelf. Yeah. It's very that. Totally. This is a really cool look and it's, um, I kind of have no notes. Other than the visible shape we're through the brown leather. Dawn, you know what I'm talking about. We've Dawn, about you this. know what we're talking about. I'm gonna call a mandatory meeting about Dawn's shape. <laughs> about about that. Well, those are all the looks. Oh, wow. That was easy. Who had your favorite look? My favorite entrance look, I would say, is Q. What about you? Well, I might have to say Q only because she really set the standard high. high. She walked in first like that? Yeah. She looks great. Cute. She looks so cute. Yeah. Great job. If you Nailed ever, it. If, you're, if you ever want to quit drag and just make outfits, Jimbo and I are very interested. Come on. Let's see what we could do. All right, next we see RuPaul enter and announce that for the first mini challenge of the season, the queens have to pose in a photo shoot on Ru's front porch. So first of all, we have to take a second to remember your first photo shoot oh. on that mountain. Oh, this isn't so bad at all. <laughs> I kind of like the snow. Ah! Ah! <laughs> That really is what happened. <laughs> they didn't tell you those fans were your turn on. No, I had no idea. I thought the challenge was walk up the hill in heels. And so then- You were really proud of yourself. I was. I was like, oh, this isn't so bad at all. <laughs> I've got this. And uh, then I got to the top. Then they unleashed the wind from hell, which I thought I was going to die. I thought, I thought my face was going to blow in on itself and I was going to disappear. It was wild. Yeah, it was. It was amazing. This, and it was the length of the screaming. I commit, I commit. You didn't just, oh, that's chilly. <laughs> you screamed like the first girl to die in a snatcher. Right. <laughs> Everyone's getting killed. I'm scared, I better take a shower. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Did you know that was gonna be such a moment? I had no idea. After my partner asked me way after, was like, you didn't tell me anything about that. I, was, I, was, I kind of totally forgot that even happened until I watched, I was like, oh my God, so stupid. And then it went just crazy. It was my first thing that went viral and it was so wild. Do any of these queens stand out to you during this photo shoot? During the photo shoot, the queen that stands out to me, I love Dawn's energy. She went right up the door. She went right into the buzzer. She knew this is a challenge. We want to laugh. We want to have fun on the front porch. So um, I, I like what she did. And I also liked, um, what's the name of the one that with the beautiful face? Trixie Mattel? Is Trixie? Oh. Trixie, was it you? Oh. <laughs> or you thinking of Morphine? Maybe Morphine. I, I like Morphine, I thought she looked so cute. I thought her outfit matched that perfectly. Yeah. That little girl walking like she's on a picnic, head to the front porch. I'm here to walk your dog. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> What would you have done? I think I would have had fun with all those props and I probably would have just tried my best to make Mamaru cackle behind that door and let me in there. I probably would have been a burglar, smashed the window with that bike, okay. popped in. Be like, give me that check, bitch. So you would have pivoted to violence. <laughs> I maybe, I maybe I turned to looting and rioting. Perfect. Start a small fire, take a shit on the lawn. Love no, it. I, I wouldn't do that. We find out Safira Cristal wins the mini challenge and wins $2,500. Whoa! Work, bitch. That's at least a pair of shoes paid for. <laughs> a pair of shoes. How much were these babies? Oh, we, we buy the same I slut think we're shoes. We're both wearing yeah. $30 we prostitute We're wearing shoes. prostitute shoes from on Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> so I don't know where you're spending the other $2,450. I only did it once on Louboutins. Wow. 
All right, great for you, $2,500 is a lot of money. That's a lot, she's rich. So next we see a moment where all the queens de-drag and we find out what they look like without makeup. Scary. You think they all look scary? Yes, it's like the people under the stairs in that workroom all of a sudden. Who, who's the hottie? Who are you asking on a date from the cast? The hottie on the date for me is Safira. Same. Safira. I want Safira. I'm like, I'm like, hold me and squeeze me. He's so handsome so out of drag. Sexy. He's oh. so beautiful. Safira, if you'd like to come on the pit stop, um, Jimbo and I are waiting here to welcome you. Friend you. Yeah, we'll friend you real hard. <laughs> Who do you think has the biggest transformation in and out of drag? Maybe a mandatory meeting, just because <laughs> she reveals that she has a beautiful bone structure hidden beneath her makeup. That was one of the most ice cold reads that I've was. ever heard. Do you have any memory from that moment on your first season where you're getting out of drag for the first time? I do, I feel like it's kind of like unwrapping presents at Christmas. It's like, what's inside? Totally. And some presents you like, and other ones you're like, I want to return that one. But um, I think it's really exciting seeing people, you know, the, who pops out of inside. It's like a kinder surprise. As working drag queens, many of us show up in drag and leave the club in drag. Many of us never see each other out of drag. No. Ever. Or even know our real names, even. That's a good point. When someone's in the dressing room and they're like, hi, Jacob, and you're like, who the hell's Ooh, Jacob? It's Jacob. There's oh, no Jacob in here. Mystical Safari Jenkins. Her name's Jacob. You're like, okay. <laughs> Mystical Safari Jenkins. <laughs> so, I love that name. <laughs> Otherwise known as Jacob. <laughs> you know? Are you team Jacob or are you team Mystical Safari Jenkins? <laughs> okay. Next, Rue announces we're paying tribute to MTV Spring Break. Oh, by the way, I love when they roll out the old Rue footage. Oh, Because she still looks great. Cool. For the first Maxi Challenge, the queens are performing in the MTV Spring Break Talent Show. We both did a talent show. I've done two. What is it like as a challenge after doing two of them? My entrance into drag originally was kind of through talent shows. That's where I locally, that I wasn't usually booked for um, regular drag gigs because I was doing too much weird <laughs> So my workaround was performing in talent shows where I could do drag and, and kind of do whatever I wanted. So I won my first three talent shows, um, wow. a cash prize of $1,000, and I bought a sewing machine. So um, I love talent shows. I think it's such a fun opportunity to say, here is a whole other thing I do involving drag and, and, and all the other things that interest me in the world, so. Totally, I remember on All Stars I played auto harp, and I remember thinking like, I won't win playing auto harp, but I'll never get to play auto harp in this challenge, right. in this competition. Yeah. So might as well do it now. Yeah. And that way, even if I flop, you're like, well, she did play 37 strings on an antique uh -huh. Appalachian instrument. We can't let her go. <laughs> when you did the baloney ghost, did you know you were gonna slay? I had no idea. I was afraid. I was like, even going into my mom, my, was like, honey, are you sure that this is what you should do? <laughs> and I was Your like, mom? my mom, and I said, I don't know. I said, but I have to do it. I have to show Rue this is a huge part of who I am. And um, so I was The like, baloney ghost is a huge part of who you are. Yes, yes, yeah. That that spirit and that, that energy and that, that world and that, you know, kind of weirdness, that's a big part of, of who I am. So um, when I finished and then Rue said, one more time, I was like, oh, she loved it. And so that's, uh, you know, was everything to me that she loved it. We find out that immunity is back. What do you think of that? Oh my God, I am so happy for them. They've got immunity. I think it's exciting. I think it's a new dimension. So, the queens are going to be rating each other. Oh my God. What do you think is going through their heads to find this out? I think that they are probably all really worried because no one really knows each other yet. It's your first day, you're trying to make good impressions, but you're also trying to be confident. And so you're kind of simultaneously trying to make friends as well as, you know, you're not there to make friends. So it's kind of a conundrum, but I like it. I like it too, because honestly, I love the judges. I love everyone. I trust right. the opinions of those whores in the room uh -huh. more than anyone else yeah. there. So the queens get ready for the talent show, but beforehand, Charlize Theron stops in to the workroom. What do you think? I am so gagged for them. She is a big celeb, and I loved her in that movie Monster where she played um, that Warnos. murder, Eileen Warnos. So I, I know she's a really incredible actress. I kind of like when the guests helps the queens before they do the challenge. My nerves are already shot. 
don't send A-list celebrities a note. Right. Like, that doesn't help me. <laughs> uh, of course, I know Charlize watches Trixie and Katya stuff, so hi, Charlize. Hey, Charlize. But if my nerves were like the talent show, I don't need major celebs coming in and saying hi. That's right. going to scare me. Uh huh. So let's talk talent show featuring Derek Barry. Yes! Yay! Yay! I don't, I mean, if you're going to do this kind of throwback MTV Spring Break, I love that they bring the unofficial Britney. The unofficial Britney, yeah. Down to this day. Woo! If anybody's not seen Britney, I call her Britney. <laughs> if anybody's not seen Derek do Britney, like a 30 minute Britney <laughs> mega mix, <laughs> that is Britney. It's amazing. It's Britney, hands down. Who stood out to you in the talent show? The talent show, uh, the first one that comes to mind again is Q with the the puppeteering of that little ballerina. I'm not even sure what you would call that. It's an optical illusion, I guess. It was a peep into her weird brain and it tells you something about her as a performer. Again, it's also a weird talent. She probably would never have an opportunity to bust out. Right. This yeah. is the moment for that weird talent. You need that lighting, you need the setup. Yeah. I loved it. And Ru the second she came out, I went, Rue's gonna love this. Love it, yeah. I had two favorites. One was Mirage clacking those heels. If you're yes. gonna do a lip sync, rolling around on the ground. Let's clack clackers. Like, ooh, ooh, I can't uh, even. We could clack ours together. We could help each other. Uh, 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 oh my God, we could start an OnlyFans. I'm, I'd be an only fan. We'd only have well, one. We'd have one, yeah. It'd be your mom. Oh, I can see your bacon strip at oh, breakfast. Sorry. My vegetarian bacon. There, there we go. go. Okay, yeah. I really gagged for that. And then I really loved Miss Crystal's comedy opera number. Yes, I love that. Daddy, please forgive me as she's dropping into the splits. Which is not the words. I believe that piece is O mio babino caro. I forget what opera it's called. Oh, wow. But it's about- Did you just speak Italian? Yeah, it sure did. Oh, I just flooded my basement. Do it again. You should see me at the Olive Garden, bitch. I can read that menu top to bottom. Oh yeah, give me that uh, red stick. Uh, Watch this. Grande. Oh, okay. Frappe. Um, twice. Oh my God. Who was on the struggle bus in the talent show? I don't really remember anyone really struggling. I kind of remember everyone really kind of brought something anyways. There was one bitch track number that did fall a little flat for me. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? A tsunami. It was news, tsunami, yeah. Who we love so much because it's our dear sister, Candy's daughter, baby. By the way, she could annihilate me in a lip sync in five seconds. Right. I'm just saying the performances were so high. Yeah. When other people are doing exactly what you're doing, but extra. Uh huh. When you come out there and just do a great lip sync, it's like And I think like she gave the cue earlier that her walk is her signature. So I think she was trying to serve her walk off the top. And I don't know if it translated. It was a bit still. Yeah, but guess who else walks? Commuters. I do. New Yorkers, mall walkers. Like walking in what else? Yeah. Serving. Serving what? Um, food. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's talk runway. It's the first of the season and okay. they want to reveal themselves. What would you have done if that was the prompt? I actually um, won, <laughs> reveal yourself on my season. I was the Adam and Eve. I came out backwards as Adam and then walked backwards down the runway and then turned around to reveal I was Eve. Did you see it? Of course I did. I watch every season of Drag Race <laughs> when I'm not doing the pit stop. Right. Well, um, let's roll the footage. Jimbo. Oh. oh. The judges are gagged. Who is this handsome stud? We have Morphine Love Dion. Oh. As far as towel to swimsuit reveals, it's serviceable. It's serviceable. I would have liked to have seen something totally, you know, like a ball gown or like something where you're like, oh, that was under there. Yeah. So there was no real surprise there. Right. Like if she pulled off the towel and a gown hit the floor. Yeah. Well, Morphine, I guess we both just dislike you. And Morphine, we love you and your beautiful face, but I don't like this outfit. But if we're talking makeup and body shape, murder. Murder. It's murder beautiful. All right, up next we have Dawn. I liked the reveal more than what was under there. I think it looks like a big seagull choking on a tampon, <laughs> but um, <laughs> I see. It. it also could look like something cuter. It looks like an albino shrimp. Yes, chewing, chewing, chewing on, on a, a heart. Chewing on a, a heart, yeah. The reveal's not my favorite. It's a little bulky. There's not exactly, it's, it's a little um, big, big, everything's uh -huh. doing something. I wish that she got coughed out of that thing, like regurgitated, and she was that red sparkle inside. She was the barf that came out of the Yeti. I love that. You could be her art director. All right, so we have a mandatory meeting. Ooh, yes, yes. It's almost like a Rorschach or something. 
When it, oh, did like, you say Rorschach? Rorschach. <laughs> it's a Rorschach. Okay. <laughs> First of all, when she comes out and the wig falls off, do you commit or do you redo it? I love that she was trying to edit it and telling like, oh, really, I like, oh they're going like, to use this. You don't use that. Yes. I'm like, you don't know how this works, baby. I know. <laughs> I loved the little redo. Listen, it's the first day of Drag Race. You know what? Let her do her. Take it from break. the top. When she unzipped, uh, a alien. purple person came out. It was like Buzz Lightyear's it's ugly pizza, sister. It's Pizza Planet. The I don't first like one it. reminds me of sounds. It uh, reminds me of like, um, you know the guy that wants you to put the lotion in the skin, on the skin, puts it in the basket? The guy, Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill. Like, I'm you getting, don't know who Buffalo Bill I'm is. I'm getting Buffalo, what's her, what's Bill, what's a girl name for Bill? Uh, it's Buffalo Wild Wigs, is what oh, it is. Buffalo, Buffalo Wild, Wild, Wigs. Wild Wigs. I just have to like, <laughs> it's so crazy to do this on Drag Race. I love it. Is she trolling us? I think Like, there's... was she sort of like, I could do incredible makeup. Or I could do the grape smuckers all over the face. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And the green hair. Listen, I don't want to go. Listen, it's it's like, <laughs> it's a it's a mandatory reading today in the studio. It's just it's a mandatory reading. A mandatory she had reading. it coming. This is Tsunami Muse. I was disappointed in this one. I know. I want to love Tsunami so much because I know her and I love her. But for some reason, uh, the red coat on the runway, I was expecting more from the first kind of runway and like more. You know, I just. It looks a little off the rack to off the rack to me. I don't even think that comes from a rack. I think that came from a bag. But she's so beautiful. I wish it was a little more conceptually strong. It's just a big red outfit to a medium red outfit to a little red outfit. Yeah. We're exploring sizes. It's like she went from a mom to a slutty daughter inside. Totally. Up next we have Q. Wow. Wow. I wouldn't know where to begin to make this. This is a lot of work. This is a lot of time. This is a lot of materials, very expensive. It's amazing. She knew. I mean, it could have just been that. And then when the wings opened, I was like, oh. Gorgeous. And then when she stepped out of it, it was like a little bustier. I, I like, love that. Oh. Up next, we have Mirage. Love that. Yes, the Mirage. I love these colors together, the orange and the blue, complimentary. I know, didn't someone, didn't Ruth say something about the dolphins? Yeah, uh, that was Carson's, uh, um, go dolphins. It's very, yeah, color of the dolphins. Michelle said sexy burrito, which I also liked. Oh yeah, I kind of see that, She's yeah. She's kind of like a sexy pita. This is her best look of the episode, I believe. Yeah. This is better than her, her entrance. performance look and her entrance Yeah. Look. And finally, we have Safira Cristal. She's wearing her signature color again. Do you think this is gonna, we're gonna get a lot of Safira this I season? I that together. Blue. We have to talk, we have to talk about the breasts. I'm gonna let you, by the way, everyone having breastplates now, mm. it's your fault. Sorry, whoopsie. I want you to explain what you think of this breastplate. This is definitely, they called it, it's definitely her first breastplate. She obviously has not seen what she looks like. She will now and there'll be a million memes. It's like literally a doll. It's like a baby, it's, it's too small. If you were using that for your milk squirting number, it'd be over in two seconds. It'd be done. It'd be, or, it would just be Dr. Pimple Popper, basically. It yeah. really is giving Dr. <laughs> Pimple Popper. What do you think of the um, diaper situation? It's time for a change. <laughs> if she was my daughter, I would pick her up and go, no, she's good. Who had your favorite look? Definitely gonna be my girl Q with the feathers, the fashion, the drama. Yeah, it's beautiful. And those dark colors, you can really get lost on the runway. Yeah. She did not get lost. No, she didn't. But what about a mandatory meeting? Cause that. You, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you something though. Is also amazing. I came in here being like, don't laugh. Like we're all finding things out about our drag in real time. But then the longer I look at it, the more I'm like, do I live for it? <laughs> like, do I'm obsessed I live with it. For it? I'm obsessed with it. She can take the golden boot already. She looks Episode like, one, she can have it. You know on Drag Race when the really pretty girls have to do a makeover challenge and their person they make over uh -huh. looks horrible? Uh -huh. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. After the judges' critiques, the queens rate each other and we find out the top two queens of the week are Q and Sapphire Crystal. Do you agree with the top two? I totally do. I, I mean, do they, in my mind of who stood out, those two stand out in my mind in this episode of, of looks and vibes and everything. Q and Safira lip sync to Break My Soul by none other than Beyonce. Yes. What do you think of this lip sync? Oh God, I feel like I'm the last person that can really talk about <laughs> lip syncing, but I felt like I wanted more from that Beyonce song. I wanted that feeling of going off. I wanted to see them really, you know, bear it all and just like be that Beyonce song. Totally. And 
it felt like it kept almost getting there and then it would nothing it never went all the way there it was a missed opportunity for some sickening beyonce moment people well people want you and i because yeah, people know obviously. that you and i do beyonce very well obviously so. we're the top impersonators <laughs> i mean so Safira wins the lip sync. Do you agree? Yes, definitely. I think I, so too. I thought Q was doing a cute job, but um, just a bit, maybe a bit slow. Safira started small. That's like a veteran drag queen that when they know, start small. Right. Because it's a long number. Not a bad week for Miss Safira. She won $2,500 in the mini challenge. She won the win of the week. I think that means, if I've done the math right, $116,000? What? Wow. Wow. I don't know if you did that math right. <laughs> well, I'm doing your taxes, so. You, thank you. Yeah, you thank better you. double check. <laughs> yeah, I'll word. double check that. <gasps> what a packed premiere. Ooh. Jimbo, do you see any early front runners in this group of queens? I think that there is so much potential in this cast so far. I think that the front runner for me is Q, just because she really seems to have a really amazing I am really cool drag. And next week we get to meet seven <gasps> more. Oh, it's like Christmas all over again. I know. Jimbo, thank you so much for being here today. We're so lucky to have you as a winner of All Stars. Clap for Jimbo, everybody. <laughs> Organic goodbyes. <clears throat> oh, are they locally sourced as well? <laughs> yeah. Let's try some organic goodbyes. Oh. Goodbye. 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 Bye. Well, actually, micro buys are organic. Like, I think it's more like that. Like, oh, oh, I noticed you have a goodbye, but I have an organic goodbye. Yeah. I, just, I only like organic goodbyes. I'm um, like, I only do bespoke goodbyes. Yeah, just like bespoke, organic, free range goodbyes. Is that like a diet goodbye? Because I'm on a diet right now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Bye. Like, Bye. And thank you for watching The Pit Stop. I'm so happy to be here hosting for season 16. We will see you next week here on The Pit Stop for season 16 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now do we just like pretend to chit chat like on oh, a yeah. show? Oh yeah, we go, oh God. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. oh, oh wow. <laughs> See, they're gonna use you that. You almost died. They're gonna use that bitch. They're gonna, they're gonna keep that in. I'm making fun of these bitches for the way they lay on the ground and clack their heels together. And I can't You can't even them. cheers. Yeah, cheers. Oh, hey, everybody, it's Michelle Visage. Do you want Emmy-nominated gay Well, then subscribe to RuPaul's Drag Race on YouTube.